Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner, and we are back. Um, so this is a gift that with me presents accountability. I know I haven't done one for a while, but I kind of want to give an update on what's been going on. Um, just because I haven't been on the channel, I haven't really talked about it for a while. So um, I did sprinkle a little bit of this in the seeing things differently video, and I believe it was this past one. So if you check out this past one that was aired, um, that's on YouTube right now. Um, I think it was, I think I posted on Sunday that will let you know how my half marathon went. I did a half marathon in, um, the Bar Harbor Acadia, um, National Park, um, in Maine. So, and that's another state check off the list because for those who don't know, I'm trying to do a marathon or a half marathon in all 50 states. Um, it doesn't have to be both. Originally, my plan when I first became a runner was to do both, but <laughs> life has been lifing, and I just, I don't want a goal that I made for fun for myself, but also being an obtainable goal to, like, work. I want it to be fun. So I've decided I'm scaling it back by quite a bit, and also, too, Truthfully, I'm not so sure how much longer I'm going to be able to do full marathons or more, um, at least right now at this weight. Um, so for those who have not been following my channel, you may have even seen, you maybe can't even tell by my first couple of videos. Yes, the film quality has gotten better. I have better mics, but I also did put on some weight. And for running, that's not great. <laughs> it's actually not good at all. And truthfully, to do the long distances, this pass a half marathon, at this moment, it, it, it hurts. Um, it doesn't feel good to do. So um, I think I mentioned a while back, I forgot which Game Fit With Me Presents Accountability it was, but I mentioned after this 50K that I do, which I pretty much am obligated to do, um, which I by the way, I'm just going to survive it. That's all the plan is, just to get it done so I don't have to keep re-signing up for it. And then I'll sign up again for it when I'm actually healthy. Um, but at this moment, I just want to get out the way so I can basically go back to basics. And what I mean by that is I'm going to go back to being going to the gym full time. I've actually already started doing that. Because I only have, I have less than two weeks left before this 50K. The 50K is not this coming Saturday, but it's following Saturday. So there's really no more training I can do at this moment. And that's actually the reason why I wanted to post this video. Because I know those who are new to running or those who are starting off, there's a lot of things that can discourage you and stop you from moving forward. And I've even... For as long as I've been running, I've been running since 2009. Um, I struggle with this myself, where I have a tendency of just feeling like, okay, just throw the whole thing away. No, no. A minor setback, you do not let that stop you from continuing on. Um, so for me, doing this 50K, it's just going to get done. Has my training been what I want it to be? Absolutely not. It has not. But do I know I can get it done? Yes, because I've done it before. Done it multiple times before. Um, I've actually ran the 50K injured. Like, very injured. Like, I should not have ran it, and I did it anyway. So, I know I have the capability of doing this. I ran a 50 miler injured before. So, it's going to get done. Okay? So, that's one. Two. Because one of the things that did happen was I did not get my last 20 miler in. And something told me to sign up for one of those things, but something told me not to. And I'm actually glad that I didn't. And I'll explain why. So this did not manifest itself right away after doing the half. But one of the things that happened while I was running the half, it was a hilly course. And it was one of those courses where the roads were like this. And the shoes that I had, I thought these were going to be the shoes I was going to use for the 50K. And no, I won't be using those shoes. They tore my feet 
and particularly the foot up. So the foot that I've been having issues with all this year and I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen because I was overcompensating with that said foot last year because I, when I injured myself last year, I actually injured my good foot. <laughs> so my bad foot had to take the overcompensation of it all and it's not happy with it. And also, you know, I had that really bad spring back in um, April. So a lot of bad things have happened. Um, but not enough where I can't get it done. And I won't injure myself any further. Like, I, I know I'm confident I can do it and not injure myself any further. But with that being said, one thing that has come back that has stopped me from training the way I want to, even towards the tail end, is my Achilles tendonitis is back. <laughs> it's back in full force. And it came back really bad this week. Um, of course, less than a week out. And that's a very common thing when you do all this running and stuff like that. Even when you aren't necessarily running to the best of your ability, you're still stressing your body. Um, so I've been trying to do other things to kind of make up for it. But at this point, when there's two weeks left of like a major race, the two weeks that you have left is only for here. You can't do anything else to make your body ready. Like, honestly, when I completed that half marathon and I slowly did it, that and I was on my feet for three hours, that was enough to let me know, okay, I can totally do this 50K. Because three hours and five hours being on the feet, honestly, to me, is not much of a difference. Um, I know that sounds wild, but it really isn't. So it'll get done. It's just not going to be the best, uh, but the roads will be a lot better because for one, it won't be on roads, it'll be crushed, crushed limestone. So it's actually going to feel a lot better than what I've been doing. So, um, but anyway, I've not been able to do the runs I've been wanting to do lately because of the tendonitis. Um, and I started um, adding the elliptical to my um, cardio and I've also still, I'm still walking everywhere. Um, and so I've been getting more steps in than ever. So that's good. And I have upped my gym game to twice a week. I start, I did it in September. And then this week will be the first week we'll go to three time, times a week. And then after this 50K, we're bumping it up to four times a week. And then in November, we're going back to five times a week. And we are going to a basics type of deal where I get some runs in, but we're just going to go heavy on the cardio um, continue the meal prepping, um, and pretty, I'm going to be doing a pretty strict kind of clean diet moving forward too. So I have a plan set in place what I need to do to get back to where I need to be. And hopefully next year I could do the three half marathons and the pace that I want that I'll be happy with, get this extra weight off of me because it really truthfully does hurt when you have extra weight on you. Um, since, so before the world ended, um, <laughs> I was a lot smaller. I was, I, I hate to say this, but I need to document it and say it. I have put on 40 pounds since that. So I got to nip that in the butt. Um, and get back to where I need to be. I don't necessarily need to get back down to 40 pounds, but honestly, 10 will be great. 15 will be great. 20 will be great. I just want to slowly get back down. And I have, and frankly, I don't want to have to buy new clothes. I don't. Um, years and years ago when I gained my weight the last time, and I said I'll never get back to that weight again, I threw those clothes away. So I don't have any clothes for me to get any bigger than where I'm at right now. This is, um, I think the last time I was this big was before I moved to the city. Um, so 2018, I got, got all the way up to this. And it was slow and gradual because that's how it always happens. Um, little by little, I just got lazier and lazier. But my version of lazy is not the rest of the world's lazy. It's lazy for me, though. 
And I just need to be mindful and realize that that's what it is. It's lazy for me. Not for you, not for the next person, but for me it is. So me dialing things back, I overdid it. And I did it slowly, little by little by little. And, um, but I'm working on cleaning it up. Um, one of the main things I stopped doing, and I think those who have followed my channel, y'all know I actually have cut back on the drinking by a lot. And that's helped a lot. Like, I feel better. Like, I actually feel good. So, I don't have any of the other clouds, <laughs> per se, blocking how I focus. And so, that's together. The career is together again. So now that we have little by little small steps are together, it's time to get everything else all together. So with the world and everything else that I can't control being a hot mess, I can at least control what's going on with me. And hopefully you guys identify with that too. And that pretty much concludes my video. I really um, wasn't sharing too much, but I will be sharing my 50K and I'll also be sharing the Chicago Marathon because my craze behind is going to limp on the course the day after because I really love watching the Chicago Marathon. I, I can't help it. I'm going to limp on the course, watch it, check it out. It's like a, it's literally a runner's block party. I can't help myself. But anyway, that does conclude, conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.